How we doing, Boomerites? It's good to see you again. Welcome back to the channel. Um, I noticed you guys have been commenting about my shirts lately. So, uh, yes, uh, the last two were wrestling shirts, so I figured I'd wear another one for you. This is the great one. Okay? My favorite wrestler of all time. Um, I'm not a wrestling fan of, I guess, anymore. Um, today... Today's wrestling, I could I could really give less than a fuck about. Um, it's just not the same. But I grew up on the uh, '90s wrestling, and um, I probably stuck with it all the way, probably into like the early 2000s, and then it kind of ran its course for me. But you know, it was a staple of my childhood kind of thing. But I used to have when I was a kid a bunch of wrestling shirts, so. Um, I was looking at my one Ric Flair shirt that I have. Uh, so I decided to go on Amazon and see if they had the shirts that I used to have as a kid on there. And they did. And they were actually, most of them, the majority of them were pretty cheap. Um, not all of them, though. The, the Austin 316 shirt was way overpriced for some reason. But... Uh, you know, some people have been asking about that, so I figured I'd give you a response to that. Anyway, this is, I'm taking this one right off of my suggestion list here. This is uh, Harry and Paul, car salesman. And uh, just looking at the thumbnail, it looks goofy. And it looks like they are imitating Americans again, which I always love. Um... So this should be really goofy, and I'm, I'm chuckling already because I'm staring at these three guys, and it just looks absolutely ridiculous, and it actually looks accurate to, like, Carl's, cars, excuse me, car salesman ads from, like, the 90s and 2000s. So let's check it out. Here we go. Do I look like a douchebag? No, Anthony, and you're not one. <laughs> you're damn right about that, Bob. Because... I think that's the earliest I've ever paused a video, dude. Oh my god. That's, start that over. I, I, <laughs> I already know this is going to be gold. Do I look like a douchebag? No, Anthony. And you're not one. <laughs> you're damn right about that, Bob. Because Anthony here is not only taking advantage of our latest opera and a beautiful new automobile, Anthony's also bad. Peace of mind. A warranty that covers any part from 99 cents to $9.99 for just 999 down plus nine <laughs> satisfaction payments of 9 dollars per week for 99 <laughs> Well, they definitely got the nines down. Oh, I, you know, that's something I remember when I was a, a kid, you know, every time you'd see one of these adverts on the TV, it was like 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, and at the end it's 99, it's, it's so good, this is, this is perfect to me. In wigs, Anthony's also purchasing windshield insurance for 9 down to 999 payments of 9999 with a final fulfillment payment of just 9999 Do I look like a douchebag? <laughs> is that all he says? You know how it is these days. You gotta be nice to retards. Buy him a cookie and ruffle the hair. Well, here at Bob and Bob's Cars, we still lock him up. Why they lock you up, Bob? Because I came up with this month's deal, Bob. It's so simple, I got to be a retard. For only $99 down and 99 payments of $99. Oh, man. Nine, 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 nine. For one payment of only $99.99. This beautiful automobile can be yours. Wow. What do you mean? This is, this is amazing. This is, I think this is this might... I don't maybe... Not, but it's it's almost as good as that American Tourist sketch that I love so much. That one floored me, and this, I mean, this one's almost as good. Similar, tell him, Bob. 
Well, Bob, on this automobile, you can pay $9.90 down in just $9.99 a month for nine months, followed by nine months of $9.90, and then nine weeks of $9.99, and a final payment of $9.99. Bob, that deal's so simple, you've got to be a retard. You oh, like my it, God. I love it. Well, come on in. Bob Bob's cars with deals so simple, they got to be retards. <laughs> Oh, how times have changed. That's a word you cannot say anymore. I don't even know if I can use that on the uh, channel without getting in trouble. But, you know, it's uh, but that was brilliant that, you know, that is the perfect parody of ridiculous sales ads um, on the television, especially during the 90s. Um and uh, for somewhat the 2000s also. So that's that that really stuck with me. And then nine, did he do enough nines for you? Because if you need more nines, we got a lot of nines and all the nine adverts we got around here. Um, the impressions that Harry Enfield and Paul Whitehouse do are just are absolutely brilliant. I am very, very impressed. Those guys are so talented every time I react to a uh, piece of content that they did so it's 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 a real pleasure to be the recipient of their humor um, especially when they're making fun of us um, this is something that should be made fun of over here constantly and I feel like it's not something that <coughs> you would really think of when making fun of Americans very much but this one it like I I remember I was I was watching this and I was like man I agree this those ads are such bullshit anyway that you know and I hated seeing them when I was a kid because that's the times you saw them the most now you know because advertisements are everywhere now but advertisements on the television networks today are so fucking fancy um, you never see ads like this anymore but on the back in the day you used to see local ads like this all the time on your uh, television networks no matter how big the networks were they would plug in a local one um, like every commercial break so this was really really good I like this one a lot um, can't say the R word anymore though um, I mean it's one of those things I, I it's hard to like you know tap into like when that officially happened but um, I don't know. Is it a good thing that we can't say that word or or not anymore? I don't know. It's probably not a good thing because anytime we try to censor um, people, one, two things happen. One, it gives them an incentive to do it even more, and then two, it you know the, the whole free speech thing. So that's um, probably not a good idea. But you know, a lot of people find that word offensive these days. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I certainly did. Like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want, and um, keep the suggestions coming. Love you guys. All right. Have a great day, everybody.